What's up guys, Mark here with GCFC Training. Today we're gonna to be going through some of my favorite agility ladder drills. Make sure when you do these exercises that you're staying on your toes, you're keeping your core tight, uh, you know, exploding through movements, but of course starting off slow just to make sure you don't injure yourself. Um, find that rhythm. And I recommend probably two to three sets on each, depending on your session and if it's the sole focus of the training session. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so for number one, it's just gonna be single foot. This is about as simple as can be. This is just one foot per square. Just make sure you have some real estate to run into here. As you can see, I'm about to run into the goal because I didn't realize where I was. And then of course, blame it on the turf because I'm a proper soccer player, that's what you do. Now moving on to number two here, this is gonna be a double foot. So same thing, except you're putting two feet in each square. Now for this one, just reinforce the point, just really make sure you're working those fast twitch muscles. With this one, a lot of the times you like to lead with one foot. So I led with my left last time, I'm gonna lead with my right this time. Now moving on to number three, this is just a basic icky shuffle. I think you guys have probably heard of this one before. Now this is two feet in the center, one on the outside. And that outside foot is just to push you back into the center here. So we'll run through it again. And just like that, again, two in the inside, one on the outside. Now moving on to number four here, again, it's an icky shuffle, but you're adding an extra step on the outside. So it's two, 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 two. And again, of course, switch up the camera angle and I'll even show a slow-mo for this one just to get this one right. This one is a little more complicated, but it's manageable here. So even I mess up on this one, I just wanted to get it right on that one, practice it before. So again, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, and let's go down to the slow-mo version now. One, two, and then back in. One, two, and then push yourself back in. Now number five here is lateral high knees. So of course face one way here, really drive your knees upwards. Get those knees up high, really explode through that motion. I worked one side, so of course you gotta work the other side. And there you go. Now number six is a crossover. So you have that lead foot that kind of, you know, crosses over, hence the name of the, the drill here. This is another one I'm gonna slow down for you. Uh, it takes a second to get used to, but it's actually quite simple once you do it. So again, just a step over, kind of like a Virgil van Dijk type of uh, defensive run, the, the way that he defends um, this one. And again, another comparison can be uh, the, uh, the first motion of the karaoke. So again, you just kind of spin on over, really works your hips. And just again, really explode into that movement. Get that knee over. Now the next one here, it's the same exact thing, except it's gonna be reversed. So that back foot is gonna come through. And just like we mentioned before with the karaoke, this is kind of the rest of the movement here. Uh, another one that takes a second to get used to, probably the hardest one that I have on here. I actually learned this one from my good friend, Noah Cavanaugh. Go check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of boot reviews. So you're really just getting that foot backwards. This one is a little bit hard. I'd rather you just get the motion down rather than try to you know, go through it as fast as you can. Man, I still trip over myself doing this drill too. This one is kind of complicated. Probably again, the most complicated one that I have here, but very, very useful. All right, guys, those are some of my favorite agility drills. I don't make things too complicated. I like to keep things simple. These are very simple but effective drills that you can use for the rest of your career. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Thank you again. Like and subscribe. See you next time.